This is a huge one tonight, reigning champions Al Itihad against their biggest rivals and the team that took the title away from them last season, Al Halal, and kickoff is just under 15 minutes away. I'm Chris Wise, former English Premier League striker Dean Ashton is alongside me. The Al Itihad players arrived a little earlier at the stadium. Dean, this is a team that are still yet in tonight of Al Itihad. They won their first title last year since 2009, so he's coming into the club at a good time. It had been a long time coming as well for Al Itihad. They needed to break up the dominance of the team they're playing tonight to get there. Al Hilal have been the driving force in the Saudi Pro League for the past decade or so. We just need to count the number of titles they've won compared to others to verify that. 18 league titles in all in this summer. They are the ones that provide the structure in the middle of the park and indeed the ability to open the game up as well. Al Halal have got suspension. He missed one game but is immediately restored to the starting 11. So it's Michael who is the one to make way for him. But there is such a terrific call to this side from Bono, the goalkeeper, who has uh, come in. So, Omar Sharani. Achieved by Fabinho. And the foul is by Neves, who has had a couple now in the first 13 minutes. I mean, how he's talked his way out of that one, I'm not too sure, because he knows what he's doing there. Hamdallah with a Hamdallah, lovely little ball around the corner, and the only goal of the night scored by Romarino. He is the man for the big occasion. Al Itihad's all-time top scorer with another goal in the derby. It has taken 16 minutes. But the league leaders are in front. Well, they've been warned. Al Halal given the ball away a couple of times and they looked open on the counter attack. But I have to say, that pass from Hamdala was just perfect. Absolute perfection. He just timed it and the pace on the ball was there for Romarino just to then take it in his stride. He didn't even have to take a touch. He was there. He opens his body up. He knows he wants to just. That is a hit! That is why Al Halal have signed him! An exceptional finish by the Serbian! And the derby is all square again! Well, that is outrageous from Alexander Mitrovic. They've tried it time and time again already in this first 20 minutes of getting that ball out to the right-hand side and looking to play early for Mitrovic. And he just peels away from his marker. And you can see what he's trying to do. Just arc his body, but the technique, the way he connects with it, into that far. Fabinho looking to press. Coronado, he's hit the gap here. Really good stop from Bono in the al Halal goal. Conte, pass on if he can find it, Benzema's touch, lovely from Benzema, Karim Benzema could say from Bono, would not have been too short, Benzema, it's beautiful, just that delicate touch of the Frenchman, the number nines are at the party tonight aren't they, Mitrovic at one end and now the response from Karim no way was there that he was gonna allow Alexandra Mitrovic to have his moment without having his own and this is just years and years of clever movement from Karim Benzema brilliant work from Mamasud on the left hand side a little combination when it came back to him Karim Benzema look at the way Ruben Neves now Yasser Al Shirani over the top of Marcelo Groa's crossbar. 
is N'Golo Conte for Al Ittihad. Conte unlucky. Not too often he finds himself in positions such as those. No. Unlucky or greedy here, I'm not too sure. He does really well to start with. But... Oh, Milinkovic Savic's clearance is short. It's a really costly error. And Hamdala takes full advantage of it. He's having a fabulous start to the season. That is his fifth goal in the Saudi Pro League. But it has been gifted to him by Milinkovic Savic. What is he thinking? Sergei Milinkovic Savic. Did the hard work, won the ball back, and then you just need to clear and reset. He's trying to be too clever to play out. Gets himself into a position here, clear it. Cuts back inside, and that is just a crazy decision. And Hamdala thought, thank you very much. I will tuck this one away with ease. And he did, he was so composed on his chest. Saw the keeper come out, just slotted it past him. Incredible. Just back from suspension. And there is the half-time whistle. What a captivating first half. It has been exhilarating content from the very, very beginning. This is a big ask. Back through the middle here, Romarinho, who slipped. And then was there a collision with the goalkeeper? The referee says it is a free kick. And it is a free kick to Al Halal, and I think for offside. He's trying to get up there, here he is, Karim Benzema. And a wonderful piece of goalkeeping to deny him from Bono. Now Conte. And then wild from Hamdala. Well, again, they look so exposed on the woods. Michael, clever cross, and is that forced in? It is. It's Mitrovic again. Might have crossed the line at the first attempt, but Mitrovic made sure. A second of the night for the Serbian, and Al Hilal active again. What I said, he loves that far post area. He doesn't like to make the dart towards the near post. And me sharp out of position here. Benzema! And the ball has gone out of play behind off goalkeeper Bono. Again, he's done the hard work there, Kulabali. He doesn't need to go out there trying up here for Mishail, who has tumbled, and it is a penalty. Wow! How quickly this game has come back in Al Halal's direction, potentially. Mishael has run half the length of the pitch unattended, and when eventually Bamasud got there, he got too close. So, for the hat trick, Mitrovic. Yes! An instant Al Halal hero! Alexandra Mitrovic with three goals in the Katico. And 3-3 three, three the scoreline. What a game to grab a hat-trick in for Alexandra Mitrovic. What a way to endear you to your own supporters away at your fierce rivals. He had to wait a long time to take this penalty. He sent Grover the wrong way. He went being made to wait, composes himself. Then sends in the set piece, and the flick is just wide. Mitrovic was lurking again. He was one of two, perhaps three, that were very close to that. Yeah, it was a great delivery. Abdul Hamid, little reverse pass. Milinkovic Savage. Oh, they've got another one. Al Tortori attacks it and made it his. One of Saudi Arabia's greatest ever players has put Al Halal ahead in one of Saudi Pro League's greatest ever games. 3-4 to the visitors. It's a crazy turnaround in this second half. 
They have just been so dominant. It's lovely play. Milinkovic Savage says, I am winning this. Desire to get that headed flick. And then Aldorsari just made sure that it was him that got on the end of it. He just about got enough to flick it towards Grau, who just can't react quick enough.